kids, it's me, Miss Olivia, and today we're going to have another new lesson, all right? But before we do that, let's have a little bit of review. Last week, you watched and listened to Miss Erin's video, and she talked about non-chronological reports. So, let me see if you remember the things you learned last time. First, what is a non-chronological report? Is it A, fiction, B, non-fiction? What do you think? Is it A or B? B, that's right. Non-chronological reports are non-fiction. They talk about real things or facts or truths, okay? So, next question, true or false? Non-chronological reports use sequencing words such as first, second, next, and third. What do you think about that statement? Is it true or false? Mm -hmm. This is false! Yes. Okay? Non-chronological reports don't need sequencing words. You don't need first, second, third, or finally. You don't need those words for non-chronological reports because they don't give instructions. Okay? They explain things and give you more information without the need for sequencing words. Yay! Did you get all the correct answers? Good job! In today's lesson, you are going to listen and read a non-chronological report. Remember, we are still talking about the unit under the sea. So today, you're going to learn more about fish. About the body parts of a fish and where they live. Okay, let's talk about the body parts of a fish. A fish breathes through its gills. Gills are slits in the fish's skin. Do you see the picture? Do you see those slits? Like if we were to have slit if we were to have gills, we would have slits here on our neck. But we don't live in the water, so we don't need gills, okay? They are just behind the fish's head, as you can see in the photo. Now, a fish waves its tail to move through the water. So for us, we use our legs to walk and run and jump and go where, wherever we want to go. But fish don't have legs. They have tails, okay? They use their tail to move through the water. Their tail, their tail is like their legs, okay? The fish's skin is covered in scales. So their skin is different from us, from humans. Scales help protect the fish. Can you imagine being uh, without skin? What if we don't have skin, right? It would be so weird. So also fish use their scales to protect them, okay? Fish also have several fins. You know those tiny little things, like tiny little tails, okay? They, they use their fins to steer. Now steer, what is steer, teacher? Okay, that means the ability to move left and right okay so they use those little little tails to steer and move around in the water so let's have a little bit of review what are the body parts of a fish we have the gills gills tail tail and fins Fins. Oops, before I forget, scales. Scales. Okay, 
Now, let's talk about where they live. Where do fish live? Actually, fish live in two kinds of water. Salt water and fresh water. Okay, so from the word salt, it means it's salty, salty water. Fresh water is the opposite, right? Okay, so fish live all around the world in seas, oceans, lakes, ri rivers, and streams. So saltwater fish can only live in salty seas and oceans. But freshwater fish live in rivers, lakes, and streams. Those bodies of waters aren't salty. Okay? Did you know that there are more saltwater fish than freshwater? Because there is more salt water than fresh water. Salt water fish include giant sharks and little clownfish. Aww. They live in places like coral reefs. You see this picture? If you have seen the movie Finding Nemo, you would know. I mean, you have seen this. And that's what you call a coral reef. They may also live in sandy seabeds. So just sand. Okay? Right. That's our non chronological report for today. Let me ask you a few questions before I say goodbye. Where do fish live? Yes, they live in salt water or fresh water. What do you call this colorful thing? Coral reefs, that's right. Good job, everybody. I hope you had fun learning about fish today. Have a wonderful day.